All right, here we got my gerbil rope clock. This one is a clock that I got for Christmas this year, or actually last year actually, but it's nice. It, it, it does work, but unfortunately I can't, like, it, it only runs for 30 hours, so I will have to wind it every day, so that's why I don't have it running, so yeah, it's, it does work though, so yeah, but this one doesn't strike. Like, I've seen some other rope clocks on YouTube that do have chimes in them, right? But this one does not. But that's okay. This right here is a Hermley Skeleton wall clock. Um, it runs for eight days, and it's key wound. And it only has one thing, and this doesn't chime. As you can see, it's, it's like... I think it was meant for the mantle, but you could also hang it on the wall as well, which is what I've got. So yeah, and I got this for my grandmother as a surprise gift. It was originally supposed to be a Christmas gift, but I got it on Halloween instead. This clock right here is my mechanical cuckoo clock. Um, this one is a one-day clock, and it the it's broken, but... The chains are very rusty, and also the cuckoo bird is stuck in there. And, oh yeah, I did do a video of this recently. And, yeah, it's... Yeah, I'm thinking I might want this repaired one day, definitely. Like, along with another cuckoo clock in my garage right now that I won't show in this video. But, yeah. Alright, here we have the Polaris wall clock. This one is a 31 day. I don't have it running right now because I already know how long it runs. Yeah, I usually, like whenever I get a new mechanical clock, I usually see for, like wanna see how long it runs if I don't know how long it runs. So I just keep there from it. This one, on the, it says it on the dial, 31 days, but I still kept this running sometimes. Um, not always though, like not now. As you can see, it's got a nice case. Finial at the top. That finial is detachable, by the way, but I like to keep it on. I have another clock in my collection that has that same feature, except it, the, the piece is broken. Actually, it's the clock right next to it, but I'll get to that one later. So, let's hear it chime. Oh yeah, and I got this at Savers for 10 bucks. Didn't think it worked at first, but tested it and it actually ran for a while. And that's what it sounds like. This one right here is a Howard Miller 612-437. Um, I had to... This one I got at an antique store for 50 bucks. Um, it's the only mechanical chime... The only mechanical three keyhole clock that I have, so... Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Like... It's nice, but unfortunately the chime thing is broken, so like if I do the chimes manually, which I, I will not do, you can check out the Westminster Chime Competition for that, but you know, like if you want to see like, if you want to hear what the chime does, then I will actually be uploading a separate video of uh, the chimes. I have to do them manually because chimes are messed up, but yeah. It's a nice clock. I do want to get this repaired one. This one right here is an Ingraham kitchen clock. Now this does work, but unfortunately the pendulum scrapes across the glass. And I don't really want that to happen because it makes a awful sound. Like it's hard it makes it hard to sleep. And also the bell on this clock is so loud, like um, oh yeah, and I got this at an antique store for $35. This runs for eight days, I think. Well, let's hear it. There it is. Okay, so right here, we have the Waterbury Cottage Clock. Now, I got this off of eBay. Like, it was, it was a clock that was a gift, but, like, my parents let me 
like choose one clock from eBay for one birthday. So I picked this one because like I really liked it and like yeah, it's um my first waterberry, the only one in my collection so far. Um but yeah, but it's a nice one. I don't know that I'm going to get another waterberry anytime soon. Oh, and yeah, you can hear some clocks um, in the background. It's 12.45, so... Yeah, oh yeah, and the, the chime spring is broken, but it works nicely. The chime spring's broken, but the, the timing spring works. This one right here is a clock made by the Linden Company. Um... It's got a, this one also came from Savers for 10 bucks, and it actually also works. Yeah, I, I don't know whether I'm lucky or not, but, yeah, I don't know how I ended up with, uh, like, working mechanical clocks from Savers for only 10 bucks. I mean, those are, that's nice deals right there, but, as you can see, it's got a nice dial, um, the hands are nice. Everything on this clock works besides there's an, there's there was an issue with the chimes for a while but I fixed it but there's another issue where for some reason it'll strike a different number on different times but sometimes it's the same so I'm gonna oh yeah and this one strikes on two chime rods so oops There it is. And yeah, as you can see, there's a... This is the one where there was, there's supposed to be a finial at the top, but unfortunately, that is... Um, there's a wood piece that is missing that I need to get glued back on so I could put the finial on. And yeah, besides that, this clock is completely in good condition. Oh yeah, and it has fake weights as well, but the the weights are gone. Fake chains, I mean. Up here is an alarm clock made by the company Florn. Um, it is an alarm clock. I got this for Christmas one year. As you can see, it's pretty flowery. It's got a nice design to it. Um, this does work. I just haven't wound it, so that's why it's not running right now. Um. It actually didn't work at first, but then, like, I took a look at the movement and then, like, put it back in. And then all of a sudden, I hear this ticking noise and it works. Which was great, because I didn't want to have to go to a professional clock repair person. But, no, don't worry, this clock works fine. However, the alarm does sound pretty rough, but it's okay. That is my Russian alarm clock. Um... It was uh, about four dollars at Savers, I'd say, and it doesn't work. It has a music box, um, which doesn't work either. And I'm pretty much um, like I've never seen anything like it. I'm. I do know that this is a Russian clock. It's don't know when this was made, but. It's an older one, I could tell. That one right there is um, a clock made by Mercedes. Um, it is just, it's not an alarm clock. It's a, it's got a nice case, really nice case. And it's got a golden hands. And this one, unfortunately, does not work. But I got this one at Savers as well for about... Two and a half, uh, three dollars actually. Um, it's a pretty nice clock. Um, it's probably one of my more recent savers purchases. I actually had this for I think about a year now, but yeah, that right there is a Star Wars alarm clock. Showed you that in a Star Wars clock video that was requested. Um, but yeah, it. It was actually 
my father's clock, like, back in the 70s, like, he used to use this to wake up every day. I don't use this to wake me up because, um, it's, it's kind of old and worn out, but I still have it and stuff, like, still like to keep it because it's, you know, father's old clock, so, but very special. Another clock made by Ingraham. This one, as you could see, it has a triangular top. Oh yeah, that that thing up there. And yeah, it's got this at an antique store in Concord for about fifty-five dollars, I'd say. Um, works fine. There was an issue with the bell for a while, but. I fixed that, and it, it sounds amazing, like, like the ticking of this clock is pretty loud, and this one runs for 30 hours, so let's, let's hear it. That's what it sounds like. This right here is a schoolhouse clock made by the company Seiko Sha, which was what the current company Seiko is used to go by, yeah. yeah. So this one is a schoolhouse clock, as you can see. There's a piece of wood right um, here, and it is in the case. I do have it, so luckily I will be able to glue it back on. Um along with the finial of the clock next to it, but yeah, as you can see, pretty nice, um, this one I probably will not demonstrate due to the clock being running, but you can check out other videos of it running, like, I mean, other clocks of it chiming, you know, overall it's a nice clock, got it $35 for this one, along with another one that I got, um, which was the same price, both from the same collector, like, there's another clock collector who lives nearby, and I bought these from him, $35 each, so $70 spent. This one right here, as you could see, is my Baxter London mantel clock. This one I got at an antique store for about $16, it, um came from the same antique store as a majority of my clocks do, like, the antique store I go to the most, probably, and this one has a bell chime, but for some reason, it will only, it will only chime, like, once, and for some reason, the hands have a little bit of an issue as well. Yeah. I need to figure out what's wrong with all the hands and stuff. Here's another Japanese schoolhouse clock. This one, I do not know the making of. Um, I probably don't want to take this thing apart because it works so well. Um, as you can see it, yeah, it's, this is the other one that I bought from that uh, clock collector that I bought the Seiko shop from. And this one was the same price, and then it was $35, so those two added up together, made $70, and yeah. Um, I'm glad it works. I don't want to take it apart because it works too well, and I don't want to end up breaking anything, so that is why I'm going to leave it as it is. Here is my Kinsel rope clock. This is the first clock I have made by Kinsel. Um, I've seen many on YouTube, but this is the first one in my collection. This one, too, is uh, another rope clock. This one I got off of eBay for about $15. It does work. doesn't chime, though, but works. And this one runs for a week. Eight days, so yeah. Right here we have my um, very beautiful Seth Thomas mantel clock. This one I got in an antique store for about 
$48, I'd say. Um, it was a very nice find. It, it did work, but unfortunately the suspension spring is broken. I, and, but, yeah, the, the chime works. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate, oh yeah, and it is one o'clock, so be aware. Clocks are about to start chiming right now, so I'm gonna wait a few minutes before moving on to the next one. All right, this is another Seth Thomas clock. This one I got from an antique store that is actually across the street from where I got like the other Seth Thomas clock, and yeah, this one. Um, yeah, there are many clocks I have, like, like four of them at least in this video, I think, um, are from that antique store where I got this. And yeah, it's, uh, pretty nice, uh, unfortunately this one too is a broken suspension spring, but this one actually does have something that no other clock in my collection has, and that is a bell on the half hour and a gong on the full hour. Oh. Yeah, it's slow. Yeah, it, it is a slow gong. Even like, even when it's fully wound, it's super slow. So yeah, this one right here is an Alaron clock. This one, unlike the other two mechanical schoolhouse clocks, is m actually Korean. The other two are Japanese, but this one's Korean, as you could see. And also, this one, for some reason, it uh, the gong is not really sounding too good, but... Like, Yeah, and I don't think that was the right number of times, but... Yeah, the, the gong is... When I, I screwed it back in, and I don't think I screwed it back in correctly, that might be an issue with it, so yeah. Um, well, this clock never did work, and I think I mentioned that this was at Savers for $15. Um... Yeah, don't know how I end up with clocks like this at Savers for such, like, good price. But this one, unfortunately, doesn't work like the other two I got from Savers, which do work. Alright, these next three might be a little hard because there's a chair in the way, but I'll still do them anyway. So this one right here is a clock made by Ansonia. Now this one has a Bim Bam chime, and it's 8-day... Um, there's, hasn't been any issues with it. I got this for Christmas a couple of years ago. Um, and it's pretty nice. Um, like, it's got, like, yeah. Yeah, there, there actually are a few times where, like, it won't, for some reason, chime on the half hour. But, like, that's, like, only when you're moving it. Like, yeah. Alright, so this one is made by Sessions. As you can see, it's another tambour clock. It's pretty much, um, not really working. Like, the movement, for some reason, won't work. Both, um, both springs are fine. But I just don't know what it is. 
there's also another issue with it where it only chimes on the half hour. Like, yeah, you saw. Didn't chime on the full hour. So, yeah. I recently did a clock talk on this. And you could go check it out if you want to learn more. And, yeah. Actually, this was a recent Christmas present as well. So, yeah. The third and final tambour clock, which is actually the first one that I got among these three. Um, but, yeah. Uh, not really final, but final for now. But as you can see, this one is different from the other two, and that this one has the uh, chimes every 15 minutes. Yeah, for some reason, it will only, like... Only one hammer works. I can't get the other one to work, so... That's, uh, why it sounds... Not like it should, but yeah. So, it'll do once on 15 minutes, two on, uh, 30 minutes, three for 45 minutes, and then on the hour, it'll do whatever hour it is. So, like, if it's 7 o'clock, like you just heard, it will strike seven times yeah this one right here is a ship's clock um it's another one i got for christmas um and this one too is um you can see it's uh made by boston it's a it's a nicer one like it works, but don't have it set to the right time right now. But yeah, I'm gonna let you hear it chime. And the chime hammer needs a bit of adjusting. I'll get to that one day. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's off by a little bit. Like... Don't know what's up with it, but... Yeah, but it does work. It does run. Oops. Yeah, it's 1.15, so a few clocks are gonna go off. But yeah, this one is a condo anniversary clock. The hands are missing. Like, and, um, also the it's broken, doesn't run. This is the pendulum. I only recently found this. Like, and, uh, it did have a glass dome at one point, but it broke, and don't think I'll ever be able to find another one, because it's pretty big, like, the biggest of my four anniversary clocks, and also this one is mechanical, it's, if it ever does work, it, it'll run for like 400 days about, which is over a year, so we'll have to really worry about it. As you can see, this is where you put the key in. I have no clue what size key it takes, but... Yeah, it's... Definitely... Not really working right now. I got this from... Uh, my mother's friend. A few years ago. Yeah. 